state rested its case in the trial of three men charged with killing Ahmad Arbery. Defense attorneys are expected to begin calling witnesses this morning. News for Jack's reporter Ashley Harding is joining us now live outside the Glynn County Courthouse. Ashley, one of the last people the jurors heard from yesterday is the medical examiner. He was Jennifer and Bruce. Good morning to you both. Yes, the medical examiner said the shotgun blast led to massive bleeding and there was no way that Ahmaud Arbery's life could have been saved. Now, in the last 10 minutes or so, we did see all three defendants walk inside the courthouse as we've seen them do every day since this began. But today, their attorneys will call witnesses to tell their side of the story. As the state wrapped its case yesterday, members of the jury listened to graphic testimony from the medical examiner who performed Ahmaud Arbery's autopsy. Dr. Edmund Donahue told the court Arbery was 3 to 20 inches away from the muzzle of the gun when he was shot. Dr. Donahue said the cell phone video helped him determine the injury to Arbery's wrist and chest happened at the same time. The hand was in front of the chest and was struck first and then uh, it entered the body. The court was also shown x-rays of Arbery's body. News for Jax is showing this image to you so you can understand this portion of the testimony. Dr. Donahue said Arbery was able to fight back even after the first gunshot because he was in a fight or flight reaction, which sent adrenaline coursing through his body. He said Arbery ultimately would have bled to death from the initial chest wound alone. Was there anything EMS or uh, the officers could have done on the scene to save his life from the torso shot? Well, they, they could put a, a, an occlusive dressing on the, the large defect, but you would still have the exit defects in the back of the chest. And, and, and they couldn't do anything about the bleeding as long as the heart was beating. The defense argued the reason Arbery was shot at such close range is because he was trying to take Travis McMichaels shotgun. Arbery's mother said she's ready to hear the defense's side and is satisfied with the state's case. I think the prosecution, the, the legal team, presented a very strong case. Um, they were able to give very detailed information on what actually happened on the mod on the day that he was murdered. And Roddy Bryan's defense attorney is also expected to make his opening statements. We're hearing around 10 o'clock this morning. Court, however, resumes at 9. Live in Glynn County, Ashley Harding, Channel 4, The Local Station.